Hi guys, so I'm still here and I'm still pregnant. Yay me, but um, it's the last day of April, so I wanted to get in a couple of videos. Um, I actually have energy today and got a little time now before I go pick up my youngest from his daycare. Um, I wanted to do a tag video for the stay at home slash work at home moms or working moms video. Um, and I got the tag from Obs and Lala, but I guess it was created by a couple other moms, and I'll leave their links to all the pages um, down below. But um, I'll also leave the questions, so you guys can do them as well. Anyway, so let's start off with the general questions. And the first one is, are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? I am right now a stay-at-home mom. I was a semi-both, I guess you can say, um, until about February of this last year, this year, yes, when I just, I quit working because I just couldn't do it anymore. It was just, I hated it. I worked at um, Target <laughs> as a barista within the Starbucks in front of Target, like in Target, and I hated the way Target was run, and I hated people I worked with <laughs> for the most part. Um, I hated everything about it, and being so pregnant, and I was a closer, and had to do all the cleanup, and it was just too much for me, and I hated having to be, like, gone every night, and no family time. So I just went ahead and quit. I am a full-time student, and right now I'm just doing online classes um, because I am pregnant, but I, um, before I got pregnant, I was full-time on-campus student, and I tend to go back to that um, within the next couple semesters. I'll probably do a couple semesters of online classes with the baby until we can figure out daycare or a nanny for him or something like that. But So now I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm in school, and I'm working to be a working mom. Um, what made me come to this decision? Well, I always was a stay-at-home mom. I knew when I had kids that it was going to be really, really important to me to be here for them, like before and after school, to do homework, to get them ready, you know, make them breakfast, do those types of things. That was really important for me. I knew that. But I've also kind of always worked. I worked as a coffee girl for like 10 years now. So I've worked in every type of coffee shop you can think of. I've done it. And um, we've kind of just, at some points, um, while having kids, I worked like a couple days a week and I would do a couple full shifts during the day while my mom would watch the kids um, or I'd work some places I would work nights once my husband came home and I've kind of always off and on worked but for the most part I would consider myself a stay-at-home mom the whole time and that's just what I wanted to be. Was my mom a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? Um, until my parents got divorced for the most part, she was always a working mom. She always had little odds and jobs and things like that. Um, but she was definitely a working mom. I don't remember much either of my parents being around. And that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to be around. Because I never had anybody to wake me up in the morning. I never had anybody to make me do my homework when I got home from school. You know, I always left the house by myself and came home to an empty house. And even when I was really young. And so it's kind of how it always was. And that's why it's really important for me to be here for my kids now. So um, how old are my children? I have Miles, who's six. He'll be seven in October. And I have Nolan, who's four. He'll be five next month. Well, technically. Tomorrow's May. So he'll be five in June. Um, what part are you a part of any mom's groups or play groups? No, not really. I find that um, keeping the kids in, they're in t-ball, and they do karate or cook school, um, and with friends from school and the neighborhood kids, we're not really involved in any playgroups. I do have a pregnancy board that I've been involved with since I was pregnant with my first son, and it was an October 2005 pregnancy board that we got involved off of Pregnancy Weekly dot com and we ended up moving over to our own private board and I don't really go on the board very much but I do have some friends from there that we do get together every once in a while and things like that but that's like the closest thing to a playgroup that we've ever really been involved in 
Um, so the next questions are working mom questions, and I'm not a working mom, even though I consider myself very busy. <laughs> I am a full-time student mom. Um, so I'm going to move to the stay-at-home mom questions. Um, did you always know you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom? Yes, always. Very important for me. And, you know, my sister just had a baby, too, and she agreed. We, my parents got divorced when I was, um, like, five or six. So, and she lived with one parent and I lived with another parent. So we both kind of had the same, like, not really having a parent there because both parents were always working and we weren't really together. So we were always alone. So we both are really focused on just wanting to be home with our kids. And so she was, um, really successful chef. And when she got pregnant, she just decided that wasn't going to do it anymore. So she's... <laughs> cut back and she'll said she'll eventually work into like doing office work and stuff for the restaurants and things like that. But she'll never go back to working as much as she did. And I agree. Like, I just don't think that, um, right now it's like, I want to be home for my kids, even, you know, all the way until they're teenagers, I want to be involved in their life. So that's good for me. How long do you plan to stay at home? I do plan on going back to work. <laughs> Once all my kids are in full-time school, um, Nolan starts kindergarten next year, this August. But then again, it's only half day, so I won't probably do much working then. And then I'll have this little guy, so I have another five years. Um, I am planning on, though, while they're all in school, to continue my schooling because um, all that I want to do for work is be a photographer. So most of my work was done on the weekends or I can schedule it while they're in school or I can even take the little ones with me. You know, it's kind of like you do what you got to do. So I, I plan on being a stay at home mom as much as needed, as long as I'm needed. And until what is going on outside? Weird noises. Anyways, until um, I feel like to get to the point where. I can hold a full-time job while they're still, and still be involved. Did you go to school before becoming a stay-at-home mom? I did not. I didn't even graduate high school. I didn't, um, I dropped out of high school when I was 17, um, halfway through my senior year. I had other things that were more important to me, and it's probably one of the biggest regrets I've ever had is not being able to, like, walk down the aisle and graduate with all these people that I went to school with since kindergarten. But um, I did get my GED when I was 21. So, um, no, when I was 22, it was right. I, I, I started getting my GED once I went had um, my first son. So, um, and then I got the GED so I could start school. So, and I've been in college now. Well, maybe I was more like 24 when I got the GED. I don't remember, to tell you the truth. But, um... I've been in college now. I think this is, I'm coming to the end of my second year of full, like three semesters a year, spring, fall, and summer. So this will be my end of my sixth semester at school. And I'm planning on getting um, a general business degree, a marketing degree, and a photography degree, along with some certificates and my general education, so I do have a couple years left because I'm just doing so much. I just want to have all my options open. Okay, if you worked before having children, did you miss it? I did work. I was, um, I managed a family coffee shop, my family's coffee shop. I worked full time. Um, I do miss it. I love that. I love, I, I loved that particular job. I loved the girls there. I loved working there. I loved my clients. Like, I just loved it all. And I do miss that. And I miss having that independence. But I wouldn't trade my life right now for it, for anything. What was your job or career before coming to mom? Like I said, I was, um, I ran a coffee shop. Um, I've been working in coffee for 10 years and I ran everything about it. So that's it. Um, what does your partner do for work? He is in the IT field. He works, he's looked, moving up into the more networking type side of the field. He does work for the state of California um, in a department and he um, just got promoted into more of a networking type of job. So he's learning that he hasn't gone to school, but he's pretty much worked enough to where he's been pretty successful. 
do you have a daily routine or just go with the flow day by day? Um, in the mornings, when we're getting ready for school, we definitely, definitely have a routine. And if we don't, it drives, like, nothing gets done on time and we're late. Um, at nighttime, bedtime, definitely have a routine. Um, homework time when we come home from school, the, the kids know that it's snack time, and then it's homework time, and then they got to do some picking up, you know, do a couple little chores, and then they're able to play. So, I mean, those type of things, yes, we have a routine. Um, but for the most part, everything else is kind of played by ear. It kind of goes off of how much homework I have during the day, um, how much time I need to spend reading or, you know, typing or blogging or, you know, I kind of just pay off of really, number one, my homework during the day. Number two, the chores that I need to get done. So that's kind of very, but for the most part, the mornings and the evenings and like right after school is all scheduled. Do you, do, 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 do you keep up with housework or is it shared with your husband or partner? I am very, very, very lucky. <laughs> I am not the cleanest person. I'm more of the type of person that um, leaves everything all day long and then goes through at the end of the day and picks up everything and does the dishes at the end of the day and does just everything at the end. My husband is the type of person where he follows the kids around and picks up all day long. He hates messes, even if they're like, we'll be picked up in a couple hours. He hates them. Um, so he has taken over most of the housework. I hate doing laundry, and I shouldn't even be using hate because that's a bad word in our house, but there's no kids around. But um, laundry, mm -mm, I don't fold it. I don't put it away. I'm totally okay with living out of a basket. He is not, so he does the laundry. He also puts away the dishes. I hate doing that, too. <laughs> I don't mind loading the dishwasher, so I try to load the dishwasher unless I make dinner. And when I make dinner, he does the dishes. Um, he also keeps the vacuuming up because the cat rolls around on the... We have a black rug downstairs, and she, as soon as that gets, like, one day of hair just from her being walking around, he vacuums almost every day. Um... He does the yard work. I, I, for the most hand, do the deep cleaning. I'm the one who goes through and scrubs the bathrooms, does the dusting, you know, once or, once every other week or so. I go through and do a huge cleaning. Um, but I haven't been doing it as much because I'm just so pregnant and I can't climb up and down on stools and reach and dust and do all of that. So my mom has been coming down and helping and doing that. But for the most part, he does the daily pickup stuff. I do the deep cleaning. Um, do you do anything on the side to earn extra money? If so, what? Yes, I kind of do. Um, I have dabbled with making birth announcements, um, birthday invitations, type of things like that. Um, and in the midst of doing all these dabblings or throwing, I threw my sister a, a baby shower, my sister-in-law, a baby shower a couple few years ago, and um, I, I made these games, um, an ultrasound game where you look at all the different pictures of ultrasounds and have to identify parts. Um, I do sell those on eBay. Um, I haven't been selling as much recently, and eBay's not putting me as high up on their search is when people search games because I'm not selling as much, which is kind of ridiculous because I can't sell if, if people can't search me. But I do sell a couple of them a month, and that brings in a little bit of money. And I also am doing consigning now twice a year, and that brings in a little extra money. Um, but for the most part, that's about it. What is one thing you love about being a stay-at-home mom? Not working. I love not having to be away. Um... But then again, what is one thing you hate about not being a stay-at-home mom? I hate not working. I hate not getting that break. Um, I Sometimes, you know, it's nice just to have that break. But sometimes when you have that break, all you can think about is what are my kids doing. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. There's a plus and a minus. But I definitely love being a stay-at-home mom. Right now I wouldn't change it. Um, I think once I can get back into going back to campus on school, for school, it balances out a little bit to where I can feel not so caged in with just being a mom. 
and actually have some form of social life. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's the tag. Um, like I said, I'll put um, the people who created it and then Obs and Lala, who I got the um, tag from, the idea from the video and the questions, and you guys can do it too. And have a good time.